Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Don Simmons from Hemisphere Energy. How are you today, Don? Great, thanks. Don, we're delighted to have been introduced to Hemisphere Energy. As I see your stock has moved up over 130% since the new year in the oil and gas industry. What are you doing differently? Well, uh, for us, I mean, it's been focusing on key assets and having the management team to, to execute on it. Uh, you know, that's what our focus has been through this downturn. And as we're seeing things better now, we'll continue to, uh, to focus on what makes the, the, the most sense and adds the most value. Well, obviously, your shareholders like your results. You just had some production results recently from your, your Atley, Atley well. How do I pronounce that? Atley Buffalo is the area. That's correct, Atley Buffalo. Okay, so what were these production results, and why are they being translated so well, or have they? And do you think uh, you've hit your market valuation yet, Don? Well, I actually don't think that, uh, that our new well is being valued into, into our story at all. Um, I, I think it's something that uh, it's just a, a, a factor of it's going to take some time for people to understand the, the importance of this well and the importance of this pool uh, for, the, for the company going forward. Most of our long-term shareholders are well aware of what we've done over the past few years in Atlee Buffalo and, and really taking a, a property that uh, uh, had very little production and something we focused on to add a lot of reserves in production. The G pool significantly though, and, and more importantly recently with our new well there, it's the first producing well into this pool. This is a 38 million barrel original oil in place pool. Only 3% of the production has been taken out. There's a huge amount of upside, a huge amount of future growth for the company in that pool. And of course in that particular uh, news release you, you reference a, reser a reservoir and production concepts. Can you tell me uh, what you meant by that? Yeah, in this part of uh, southern Alberta, uh, it's not uh, it, it's fairly common uh, for these pools of this size to be developed with horizontal wells and then followed up with uh, secondary recovery or, or a water flood. Uh, these are things that have been going on for decades. For whatever reason, uh, you know, buried in larger companies, slipping through the cracks, these two pools in Atlee Buffalo uh, have remained undeveloped uh, with today's standards. And well, Hemisphere's job is to, to go in and consolidate these properties, which we have. We, we own them 100% now. We then went in to prove to the market that horizontals were the right way to go. We did that in 2014 in our F pool. We've done it in 2016 in our G pool. And we've also in, uh, initiated water floods in both those pools. So all those, both those concepts, we've checked the boxes on those. It's now moving to full development of those two pools. Well, you talk about uh, consistently achieving production results with limited capital expenditures. I'd love, I mean, that's the kind of uh, a message that an investor like myself likes to hear. Don, can you tell us a little bit more about what you mean by that? Well, as a small company, uh, you know, access to capital is always, uh, always an issue and uh, cost of capital is probably the biggest issue. Uh, and so we have to work with what we have, uh, cash flow, uh, living within our, our lines of credit. Uh, and being able to top the market at very few times over the last few years. So with very little capital, we've grown this company through the drill bit. Uh, and that being said, uh, we focus on every dollar that we have. We have to get our money back and pay it quickly, and we want to get a great rate of return. We like to see 80 100% plus rates of return on the capital that we invest. So, you know, during this downturn uh, over the last couple of years, it, it's something we've really had to focus on. Every dollar invested, we had to be very sure that we were adding value with that and we've done that consistently. If you look over our track record year after year we've shown both production and reserve growth. And of course what you've just explained is very challenging for many entrepreneurs and obviously you've had a very good year for performance but what should we as shareholders and potential new shareholders anticipate in the next coming a couple of quarters moving forward? Yeah, I think we're, we're excited about the future. We, uh, we've lived through what is uh, undoubtedly one of the worst downturns of the last couple of years, but we're coming out of it. We're seeing prices firming up. Uh, we're seeing a, a Canadian dollar that is extremely attractive in, uh, in, in this market for, for companies like us. We're going to go from, from strategic investment, where we have been over the last couple of quarters, uh, in back into growth mode. As we start to see 50 55 $60 oil, uh, our net backs and our cash flow will be uh, at a size that we'll be able to start to ramp ourselves back up, back to where we were in 2014 uh, on, on that growth trail. And of course, I, having reviewed your bio, you have a substantial depth of knowledge, a lot of experience yourself, Don. 
I'm going to ask you as an investor, what's going to happen with our oil and gas market here in the next, uh, say, three to four months with the presidential election? Yeah, I think uh, there's certainly the election and, and the, the next big thing is the OPEC meeting on, on November 30th. And those are two key things coming up in the short term over the next uh, 30 to 45 days. Uh, and they're going to be key to either stabilizing and moving the price up uh, or seeing the price basically stay where, where it is, I, I believe. Uh, I think as we're starting to see the rebalance in supply and demand, and as we start to eat through those inventories that are high in both the U.S. and around the world, uh, we're going to see a, a, a significant upswing in prices through into 2017. And of course, this is Don Simmons from Hemisphere Energy. Thank you so much for joining us today, Don. Thank you very much.